Hi guys, my name is Frank, and in this Armor 3 video, I want to show you guys how to force your mission to replace the in-game GPS interface with a sort of shack tech HUD that has been hard-coded into Armor 3 and therefore does not hit performance or require any mods. So to show you what it is, this is the interface right here that I'm talking about. I've shrunk it a little bit and moved it to the bottom center of my screen with the layout tool. But anyway, this gives you better squad interface uh, awareness, so you can see what your positioning is in relation to your other squad members. And also you can tell which direction is north by looking at the line that is drawn through these three rings here. And to explain what these rings are, the inner ring here is the 10 meter ring, this is the 20 meter ring, and this is the 30 meter ring right here. And their icons of our subordinates are also updated every half second or maybe even faster, maybe every point second. So it's very seamless, requires no additional mods or scripts or anything like that, which is very good. And you can always enable it or disable it by just holding right control and pressing M, as long as you have a GPS equipped. If I disable or just equip it, and I try to enable it, it doesn't work. Now I'm going to show you guys how to integrate that into your mission. It does not require any init field or anything like that. Just go into your mission folder. So my documents, I'm at three other profiles. Go into your profile, your missions folder, and then go down to your mission folder or you know whatever mission you want to integrate this into so in this case my test.stratus mission and make sure you have a description.ext file in there and open it and paste this command in there the show group indicator equals one semicolon and I'll put that in the description of the video so that you can copy and paste it and to show you how to create a description.ext you just go to new you know right click in the folder go to new text document Go to Save As, go to All Files for Save As Type, and name this description.ext. It's going to ask me to replace it, obviously, because I already have one, but there you go. And then you would have a description.ext in there, and then just paste this command right in there, and boom, you got it working. And that's all you got to do. So, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, great, like it. If you didn't like it, and you need more questions or something more answered about it, just let me know or uh, dislike it, whatever, and I'll try to make more videos covering this maybe in the future. So anyway, see you later.